I must have been ten years old when an odd character moved in nearby. On his huge estate, close to the American border, it seemed that he wanted to withdraw from the world. He rarely went out, and he didn't speak to anyone. People in the village said that he was an adventurer who was writing articles for scientific magazines, or that after many voyages was writing his memoirs for posterity. Others added that he must have hunted big cats in Africa and that maybe he'd even slaughtered natives. Could it be that the man had become as wild as the countries he'd explored, from the deserts of China to the southern plains, from the Pacific Islands to the land of the pygmies? Did he have a treasure hidden in his attic? There was one thing I longed to do, to meet him. One fine day, I found an excuse to approach him. Sir, sir, please help me. This duck is hurt. My name is Antoine. My mom told me you're a great hunter. Would you know what to do for his wing? Now, of course, when you're 10 years old, you expect miracles. Hmm. But I wasn't mistaken. The hunter listened to me. He put on a splint. I came every morning to see the bird in its cage, and gradually the wing was knit back together. I'd made myself a friend, but I still had to uncover his secret. Why did the hunter live all alone in this big, silent house? He didn't have a cat or a dog. Who did he talk to before he went to bed? Now there was one thing I longed to do, go back to his house to see him. What are you looking for, young man? Huh? Uh... Um, I was admiring your hunting trophies. They're amazing animals. Does every gazelle have a name? Does this one? That's a Thompson's gazelle. One day, I'll kill a gazelle. Like that one, with the long horns. That's not a gazelle. It's a buffalo. This one is a warthog. There's a hippopotamus, an oryx, Tell me, Antoine, which of these trophies do you like best? I guess the gazelle that has horns like sabers on its head. Mm. Did you kill it yourself? With your rifle? It's my job. Was it dangerous? One day, I'll go into the bush. I'm going to kill wild animals, too. Will you eat everything you kill? Mm. Um, I don't think so. I don't like meat. 
But with guns like these, I'll be a good hunter. Oh, please, can you teach me how to hunt? Please? The hunter took me seriously. He was going to give me a lesson. Watch out, Antoine. Never point your gun at anyone. And always put on the safety catch. It pays to be careful. In fact, there's something I want to show you. One day, when I was your age, I went hunting by myself with a 22, and I'd forgotten to put on the safety. Unfortunately, don't grow back. The hunter taught me everything. He told me, a rifle can do a lot of damage. Hunting is not a game. You must learn how to handle your gun. Hold your breath. Line up your sight with the target. Always aim at the heart. I thought I'd learned all there was to learn, but the lesson wasn't over. He told me, after the animal's dead, you have to bleed it because blood makes the meat go bad. Then you slice the neck from one artery to the other and the blood spurts out like tomato juice, but worse. You take your good, sharp knife and carefully open up the animal. But don't cut into the stomach or the intestines. Then, to empty out the animal, you grab hold of the viscera with both hands. You pull. You cut the flesh and the tendons. Then, all that's left is to butcher the animal. The hunter could have picked another time to show me how to be a butcher. It's time I told you what happened to me in Africa. It was in Kenya. We were hunting in a valley filled with high grass. We could barely glimpse the shadow of the acacias here and there. One night, when we were exhausted, we stopped to camp by an unknown lake. I'd fired a few times without hitting a single target. I soon realized that my rifle sight wasn't adjusted properly. Later, I wanted to check that I'd fixed it. I'd gone away from the camp to look for an easy target when I spied some baboons playing in the distance. The biggest one was standing motionless. The perfect target. Oh, oh, oh. 
I couldn't believe my eyes. Had I killed an ape or a man? It was at that very moment that I lost my taste for hunting. My friend the hunter had finally revealed his secret. How could I thank him for this hunting lesson? On our way home, shh, we were in for a surprise. Ooh. So I headed home, leaving my teacher to think things over. Now there were two of us, hunters who didn't want to hunt.